Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Make sure you check out mygreengear.com. I'm actually headed to the post office right now to pick up some new merch that was sent to, be by, sent to me by my rep. It will be on my live stream this afternoon. Of course, I do live streams Monday through Saturday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, I love it when bad people get a taste of their own damn medicine. I love it when they put them in. Remember the scene from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom when they made Indy drink that poison blood? He didn't want to drink it. He spit it out. Then homeboy hit him in the stomach, squeezed his mouth, poured it in there, and held his mouth shut. Made him swallow it. I love it when that happens to pieces of shit in the media, in the mainstream mediocres, especially when it's one of the monstrosities, one of the behemoths on The View. And this time, it was Anna Navarro's turn. Now, she made the mistake. Now, I don't think it took place on The View, but she's from The View. So... She made the mistake of getting this guy on, on a show or a panel she was on who wasn't about the bullshit. And he told her, he said, you can be a Republican for convenience or you can be a Republican in conviction because she claims to be a Republican, but she's clearly a rhino in more than one meaning of that word. Not only the rhino, Republican in name only, but an actual rhinoceros. So he tells her that because they're talking about the people who were taken from Texas and Florida and sent to or from Florida and sent to Martha's Vineyard and they were quickly expelled. They were expelled from Martha's Vineyard like Martha's Vineyard drank Epicac. You drink that shit, you will throw up immediately. They said illegals, <laughs> get, get them out of here. They were out of there in less than two damn days. See what happens when you put your mind to it, kids. So <laughs> they were talking about that. And she tries to interrupt them. I say tries because he gets, just kept talking right over. Shut your mouth. Quit trying to woman explain. Don't woman explain to me. Don't show me your toxic femininity and try to dominate the conversation. <laughs> so she tried to talk to interrupt him, but he kept talking over her, which was great. But what she said was when she was trying to interrupt him, she said, they were tricked. They were tricked. Hey, dummy. You narwhal. What do you mean tricked? And even if they were, they are coming from third world shitholes where they duke in a hole in the ground. If this is being tricked, then trick me. It's just like those, use. it's always a rich one. Always one of them rich Negroes talking about how they're oppressed. If that's being oppressed, having millions of dollars and only eating at places with white cloth napkins, oppress me. Oppress the shit out of me. Oppress me till I, till I can't take any more oppression. Oppress me till I can't be oppressed anymore. If that's what it is. They were tricked. What an awesome trick. Thank you. That's like somebody taking $20 out of your pocket and replacing it with a $100 bill. If that was a trick, then keep tricking me. That's how sad and pitiful this shit is. They're calling an upgrade trickery. Do you not know anything? Aren't you uh, a Latina? Aren't you a Latinx? A Latinx? Anna Navarro? So you've probably been south of the border. You've seen how poor it can get. Those people were tricked. Hey. Mr. or Mrs. Resident of Martha's be your Governor DeSantis, you trick me. You take me from hut, you take me from object poverty, and you put me in one of the richest places in Los Estados Unidos. I have been tricked. Shut the fuck up. These people weren't tricked. They were hooked up. They weren't tricked. They were helped. You kidding me? They're, <laughs> they're coming. From these poor ass countries, you're telling me that they're here to seek asylum. You're telling me 
that they come from corruption and poverty and war and famine and all these horrible things and they get sent to Martha's Vineyard where the rich and wealthy like to play, including the Obamas. And that's a trick? Um, trick me. Governor DeSantis, I will be standing in front of my home in California with all my belongings. Trick me. Send me to Beverly Hills. Send me to Martha's Vineyard. What's the place in uh, the Hamptons? Send me to the Hamptons. Okay? Send me where they drink their drinks like this and they laugh this way. <laughs> Trick me. Take my bank account. And then when you give it back to me, make sure there's millions of dollars in there. Trick me. <laughs> You see how great our lives are? You see how wonderful our lives are in America? We have nothing to worry about. Our lives are so good that taking someone from a third world country and putting them in the most wealthy zip code in, a, in the most wealthy country in the world is now trickery and deception, and it's wrong. Governor DeSantis should be, should be sued for taking these people to the top, to the penthouse. So you mean to tell me if you're a dope fiend in Las Vegas and you're living on the street, you're fighting other homeless people, drug addiction, rats, and they come and get you. They entice you. Hey, why don't you come up to the top floor of the Palms? And you come up to, they get you. Remember, they said that they tricked them with McDonald's gift certificates. So they leave out... Here you go, homeless. Here you go, drug out of dope fiend on the streets. They trick them. They're looking all, oh, McDonald's gift certificates. And they look up. Hey, I'm in the penthouse. What's that, an infinity pool? Is that a spiral staircase up to one of the largest beds I've ever seen? Hey, wait a minute. Are these things, are these in these, these buckets of ice full of Dom Perignon? Oh, What's that, shrimp cocktail? <laughs> no, get me out of here. <laughs> Somebody save me, I've been tricked. Yesterday I had caviar for lunch. <laughs> Take me back to Guatemala. Get me out of this penthouse. Send me back to the streets. Or I'm cold and shivering in the winter and I'm sweating and dying in the summer. Take me back to that. I don't want to be tricked anymore. Such bullshit. And that's what these blue check marks and these empty suit politicians, these uh, appendix, I call them appendix politicians. Why? Because we can do without them. If they were removed, it would be no different. It'd actually be better. They were tricked. That's being tricked nowadays. Okay. But you're not being tricked when you talk to this woman and you guys go back to hook up and you reach down there and find a bulge. That's not being tricked. You're a transphobic. That's That used to be a trick. That used to be the trick of tricks. But now being tricked, I've never used this word so much in my life. Now when you've been, been tricked or fooled, that's taking you from the worst poverty the planet has to offer and then putting you in the most wealthy place within 5,000 miles. Got it. Like I said, people, I'm going to the post office to get my merch. I just arrived. I can't wait to don it and show it on my live stream, but you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the link tree link. Get your ass over to JerichoGreen.net and MyGreenGear.com. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.